The Twitter Tuesday question becomes a Wednesday recap, and what we're talking about is a question that we were actually chatting with Angie and Sean over at Magic 107.7 with last week, and it was talking about how do you like your steak prepared, and there was a comment that some 50% like it well done. So we threw this on here, and here's what you had to say. Medium rare and medium coming out at 38% even, and then medium well 15%, and well done only 8%. So thanks for playing, and again, we do that every Tuesday, and then show you the results each Wednesday morning. So we have some rain and some thunder out here, so you're going to have lightning and water coming down. A lot of this is from Ogden and out toward Junction City and Chapman and working up toward Clay Center. This is all moving north-northeast. Then there's this batch of rain that's been in the Wichita, El Dorado, and Newton area, and that's coming right up toward I-70 through Council Grove here in just the next probably half hour to 45 minutes time, and a lot of lightning strikes. That's in just the last 15 minutes. So it is lightning up the sky, uh, kind of brightening up things just a tad here, and this is going to be on the increase it looks like as we go through this early to mid-morning stretch. The dew points are still in the 40s, but they'll work their way into the 50s today, uh, probably hitting about 56, and then tomorrow probably closer to 62. And that's going to be behind uh, the front that kind of sweeps on in. And then when that happens, the dew points are going to fall off into the 30s. Your wind kind of feeding in from the south and southeast, and there are many spots where the wind is already going at 15 to 20. And through the day today, it's going to be 15 to 25 and gusting higher. Some 50s, and then some 40s, and then some 30s. And then north of that into Montana, and areas of Canada, it's actually a lot colder than that. And there's the impressive system coming right down into the northern Rockies. The front basically from Salt Lake City up here toward the Black Hills of South Dakota. So as that comes out toward the plains, it will enhance our shower and thunderstorm chances. And then once it sweeps through tomorrow, the temperatures start dropping off. And you might be in the 60s and low 70s in the early morning, but by late afternoon, we could have some 40s and 50s here. So prepare for that change tomorrow. So for today, we're going to have our showers that gradually feed on in and that's going to make for wet periods but by evening it may taper off a tad and then into early Thursday we'll have a couple of showers and thunderstorms come through and then another batch and when that happens in the afternoon at any given location the temperatures start dropping and it will be a 20 degree drop at least over the period of about one to three hours time. So 50s and 60s today we end up at roughly 68 and there's a pretty high chance of getting a shower or thunderstorm. Tonight spotty showers variably cloudy and mild at 60. That's 72 high happens early. Then we start falling off through the 60s and into the 50s, if not even the 40s, and we end up at 37 by Friday morning. 49 the high on Friday with a gusty wind. Sunshine this weekend with cold mornings, a chance of frost on Saturday morning, some mild daytime highs in the low to mid 60s, and then pretty decent early next week with a mostly sunny to partly cloudy sky. 68 on Monday, 64 on Tuesday, but tomorrow, boy, when the front comes through, you'll really notice the change. Oh, yeah.